AI is now one step closer to using multiple senses at once, just like humans. What if your mid-journey creation suddenly had the ability to generate sound as well? Meta is hard at work and one of the new AI developments it's brought to the table is ImageBind, the first AI model capable of binding data from six modalities at once without the need for explicit supervision. These modalities are image, video, audio, text, depth, thermal, and inertial measurement units. This now allows AI to analyze many types of information together, kind of like we do. On this episode of AI Focus, we'll get into how AI is getting closer to understanding the world in the way that humans do, but that's not all. Stay till the end to see about Instagram's new AI chatbot gearing up to slide into your DMs. In regular AI systems, there's a specific embedding, which are vectors of numbers that can represent data and their relationships in machine learning for each respective modality. These modalities consist of either text, audio, video, depth, and more. Usually, an AI model only deals in one of these modalities, but ImageBind has just proved that it's possible to connect these modalities with a joint embedding space without the need to train on a new combination of data. This is important because researchers can't train an AI on a mix of data anyway, like audio and thermal data together or text data and depth data together. Now with ImageBind, researchers can input one format and receive an output in a totally different one. This is like us. As humans, when we see a single image, it can invite a whole sensory experience. Meta says ImageBind is achieving this same experience by learning a single embedding or shared representation space that binds multiple types of sensory inputs together. These senses include depth, infrared radiation, and inertial measurement units, which calculate motion and position. With ImageBind, machines have a holistic understanding that connects objects in a photo with how they will sound, their 3D shape, or how warm or cold they are, and how they move. The blog post goes on to say that ImageBind even outperforms AI that were built to specialize in a certain modality. But the main thing to take away here is that this project advances AI by allowing machines to analyze different types of information at the same time, which is incredible. And remember when I said it can work with generative AI? You could combine Meta's Make a Scene with ImageBind to create images from just audio instead of plain text like Make a Scene was originally intended to do. This opens up a wide possibility for creation. This new multimodality system will allow researchers to try and develop new holistic systems like combining 3D and IMU sensors to create extremely immersive virtual worlds. By the way, if you're enjoying this content and want to stay updated on all the latest AI news, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. Before we see ImageBind in action, how exactly does ImageBind work under the hood? First, we have to understand what a vision model is. A vision model is what allows a computer to see, observe, and understand. Meta extended large-scale vision language model's ability to recognize what it hasn't seen before, which is known as zero-shot capabilities, to new modalities by using their natural pairings like video to audio or image to depth to learn a single joint embedding space. Images provide an advantage for ImageBind as well because they pop up with a variety of modalities and serve as a sort of bridge to connect them. Any images from web data can be used as targets to learn features for new modalities. For example, thermal and depth modalities have a strong correlation to images, so they're easier to align. And naturally, audio and IMU are harder to align. But apparently, the image paired data is enough to combine the six modalities. The model interprets content more holistically by having the different modalities talk to each other and find links by observing. This allows ImageBind to associate audio and text without seeing them together. And ImageBind can enhance other models by teaching them new modalities without resource intensive training. And this is huge. Imagine Midjourney with the ability to also incorporate sound seamlessly into its generations. Oh yeah, and they mentioned emergent capabilities from the process as well. This image-aligned self-supervised training allowed the model to improve itself. The model was recognizing which audio fit with certain images and was predicting the depth of a scene from photos after a while. The paper says that ImageBind's abilities to align modalities increases with the strength and size of the vision model. This means that the larger the vision model, the better its audio classification. So now training a large vision model has benefits far beyond vision. 
Researchers used audio and depth encoders from ImageBind to compete against models made especially for the task, and ImageBind completely outshined the competition, as seen in these graphs. So now let's see it in action. The first ability we'll look at from ImageBind is the ability to use image to retrieve audio. ImageBind can instantly suggest audio by just using an image or video as an input. This is interesting because it's like the AI is almost inspired in a way. There's no text prompt or video prompt in this situation. This is AI hearing a sound and interpreting it itself. This is crazy. The website says this could be used to enhance an image or video, like adding sound waves to the image of a beach. On each image below, I'm gonna click and image bind will retrieve audio options. I'll go from left to right. Here's the dog. Now the tiger. Oh, and did I mention that ImageBind can do the same thing backwards? You can also use text to retrieve images and audio as well. And I'll show you the examples below. This is drums. Meowing. And trains. And then you can use audio and image together to create another image. In the first example, the audio is of a dog barking, and the image consists of a beach. The retrieved image is a dog on the beach. Tell me that's not cool. Next, we have a pouring sound with the apples, and we get a faucet running on apples in the sink. And then we finally have the sound of the car engine and the beach, which equals a truck on the beach. Then it says here that image bind can also be used with other generative models which should really take this to a whole nother level. This changes how we look at multimodality. Imagine pictures generated by Dali, Midjourney, or Adobe Firefly being instantly accompanied by audio to complement it. Or even this intricate example from the blog post that says a creator could couple an image with an alarm clock and a rooster crowing and use a crowing audio prompt to segment the rooster or the sound of an alarm to segment the clock and animate both into a video sequence. And the researchers are looking ahead at the capabilities of making AI even more human by adding smell, touch, speech, and brain signals in the same type of way. Now over to the other side of Meta at Instagram, where an app researcher has leaked that Instagram is developing an AI chatbot, delivering on their signature feature-stealing tactic. According to the leaks that reflect in-progress app developments, the AI agents can answer questions or give advice. So now you'll get coaching on how to best jump into those DMs of the Instagram model who won't see it anyway. Users will be able to pick from 30 different personalities and it can even help write messages. Snapchat tried this and it turned out to be a pedophile's dream, telling a reporter posing as a teenager how to set the mood for sex and how to cover up the smell of weed and alcohol. And it also just doesn't work very well, so there's that. But Meta is quietly a true force in AI, so any chatbot they develop over there shouldn't be anything to scoff at. What do you think about an IG chatbot? Do we need it? What do you think about ImageBind? Let me know in the comments. Click that video on the screen to see Meta's new AI chips that will take the world by storm. And thanks for visiting AI Focus.